Hey, this is Ty with Green Regimen. So one of our customers sent me this video from a YouTube channel called Plant Based News. They have a lot of subscribers, so I wanted to check out the link that was sent. And this video is called What Do Long-Term Vegans Eat? So I'm curious on what they consider long-term vegan, maybe you know over 10 years, over 15 years, but I'm actually curious on what they eat. Mm, probably a little bit different than what I eat, but I'm just curious, so why not? So let's check it out together. I haven't watched the video yet, so let's see. So my favorite things are really simple things. Um, like if somebody said, you can have the best vegan ice cream or you can have this perfectly ripe mango. Give me that mango. I get that. I mean, you know, mangoes, when they're delicious, they're delicious. Um, so I like really simple foods. That doesn't mean that I don't like celebrate with some pretty fun foods. Uh, I don't know. Just think about what like came off a tree, you know, like a really good apple that's still warm from the tree. Those are my favorite kind of things. Or when we're in Mexico in the winter, just like those foods that are just like ripened on the tree and there's nothing like it. Like we'll get a pineapple and we'll be like, isn't this the best? You know, we're so grateful to be eating this amazing food. That said, <laughs> vegan donuts. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> vegan donuts. So just in reference to what the the last lady just said, sounds great with the fruit and everything is, is pretty awesome. And I definitely love my fruit as well. But let's just say for an athlete, you definitely need some plant-based protein in there. So whether that's a protein powder, which obviously I'm an advocate for, um, but also just fruits alone. And I think they're called fruititarians. Um, it's just not going to do it physique wise and also, you know, endurance and performance wise. So just keep that in mind. But I'm definitely pro fruits for sure. No, <laughs> I do love donuts. I have a thing, but I like healthy food. I'm definitely a tofu person. I love you can make it a million ways. Tofu, tempeh, seitan are definitely regular things we're like steaming, sauteing, you name it. Um, we love a big salad with chickpeas and, you know, uh, a lot of herbs and tomatoes. And we also love stir fries. And I'm a big fan of like doing rice bowls where you steam you know, a lot of veggies and just have them on rice with a tahini lemon sauce. That's kind of my, I have to say, I crave that. I like this. So I like the chickpeas. Awesome. The tahini and the salad. It's pretty awesome, right? So what she's saying, I, I get that. The tofu, when it comes to seitan, I definitely do the seitan. Tofu itself, and you have to press it and that that actual consistency, I don't really prefer because now we have plant-based options such as pea protein. I, I kind of like that consistency a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I think tofu is a great option for people. So I'm definitely pro um, of that for a lot of people as well. Now, just talking about it, I'm like, that sounds so good. We're mostly health food here, but... I, I don't say no to a, a good vegan cupcake either. And I should say, nooch on everything. <laughs> nooch on everything. No idea what that means. I always love to eat avocados. Um, avocados is, a, uh, people talk about bad fats. Avocado is a good fat for the body that uh, does so much for the system especially for men because it's also a natural aphrodisiac for men as well. So it's good for male manhood. So <laughs> I love avocados as well. I don't know what he's talking about <laughs> when it comes to that, but you know, it's so funny. They say everything is aphrodisiac. I think they just want you to, to just think that everything is aphrodisiac. I've never heard of that before. I eat a lot of avocados, mm. but you know, if it works for this guy, fantastic. They call it the gonad fruit, so that's one of the great things that I eat. Um, of course, your beans, um, your organic tofus, your tempehs, and things of that nature. I'm also a big smoothie guy, you know, uh, especially when, during the summertime. I'll make sure I put all my superfoods in a smoothie, um, whether it's uh, hemp-based or uh, coconut-based milk, and with my moringa, my baobab, and my strongman herb that's a natural, two of the strongest aphrodisiacs. 
So this guy is obviously into his aphrodisiacs, right? But when it comes to the smoothies, I am with them on that. So smoothies are fantastic. That's actually how I started Green Regimen, making smoothies. I'm out of Africa that helps the male to keep his testosterone level at a, di at a different place. So those are some of the staples that I eat. Bananas, um, nuts. Uh, when watermelon season is in, I'm always eating seeded watermelons because those are very good for detoxifying the body. And also, again, I keep talking about the aphrodisiacs. Clearly, clearly he keeps talking about them. But that's, for men, we need that, so yeah. Or for him. As a vegan, I just started eating more of the foods that I always ate that just didn't have animals in them. Most of us have things like that that we really like. For instance, um, you know, every morning I eat oatmeal with uh, blueberries and flaxseed. That's easy to do. Um, I try to incorporate uh, some uh, higher protein foods like tofu and tempeh, some that are less processed than the mock meats. You know, I eat a lot of fruit, I eat a lot of vegetables, I eat nuts and seeds and whole grain bread and pretty much a whole food diet most of the time. However, that 20% of the time, I love vegan burgers, vegan pizza, some vegan junk food. I mean, vegans definitely love their junk food. You can't deny that, but a great or greater part of the diet is definitely healthy, for sure. Growing up, you eat... That's Billy Mays right there. Okay. Potatoes and ham and, and roast beef and what have you. Um, that I really was not a big, uh, I guess, salad person. But I, I, I have learned over time that, you know, I actually enjoy probably a salad, you know, with, you know, with some either walnuts or some almonds once in a while, just to give you a little bit more protein. But, you know, there's plenty of protein in the salad itself, especially if you chop up some broccoli and put it in there as well. I, it's interesting because now I find that a salad is, you know, is one of my favorite foods to eat. This is so true. You know, what happens is when you start to detoxify your body, you actually crave whole foods like salads, you know, kale salads and avocados and tomatoes. It's just, it's... uh. It's the type of feeling that I could only, or, the, or, or it's the type of feeling that you could only relate to if you actually give it a try to where you drop some of that toxic foods that we're used to eating and just do like a little cleanse where you're eating whole foods, vegetables, healthy vegan or healthy plant-based uh, foods. And you'll feel exactly how he's describing. You just all of a sudden start to crave um, a lot of these whole foods and you're no longer craving a lot, of, a lot of the sugary foods, you're not necessarily, except if, you know, the, you might crave sweets, which would be from fruits, but you won't have that, that artificial sweetness craving um, that a lot of people have uh, just due to the addictive quality of table sugar. Now, because you can put so many different things in it. I have a Brussels sprout, you know, with cranberry salad or something that I think, I think uh, Costco or somebody makes but it's, it's, it's delicious. And I find that this is something I probably wouldn't have eaten in the past, but now it's, it's one of the things that's one of my favorite foods. <laughs> I am the most boring eater. When I worked at a big brokerage firm years ago and everyone was afraid of getting laid off, they said, if we lose our jobs, we're gonna have to eat like Brenda does. I love rice and beans. <laughs> I could live on quinoa and beans. I, that's my staple. I will eat every day to my heart's content, but I mix it up and put different vegetables in it, different sauces in it. But I've been eating, gosh, quinoa and or rice every day for probably 30 plus years. And I'll go out to eat with my friends to be social and I'll have a veggie burger. I'll eat the latest and greatest but I always migrate back to my foods and that's what makes me happiest. So the favorite food I have that I like to eat is the one I'm making, the one I'm eating at that moment. Because every time I sit down, my partner can hear me going, mmm, that tastes good. And he's going, did you do it again? And I'm like, I think so. And whether it be lasagna, whether it be rice and beans, whether it be quinoa and um, kale soup, or anything of that nature, or a burger, or a hot dog, or a regular sandwich. They're all my favorite. Just be careful with some of those hot dogs. So just, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. And I'm eating them, just like my dancing. So what food do I enjoy? I pretty much love all vegan food. Uh, there's really great junk food these days. There's that junk food word again. Wonderful ice creams now. For me, I try to stay on the healthier side. I like eating a lot of beans, 
whole grains. I love potatoes, sweet potatoes, nuts, seeds. Usually I'll cook all of these things up, oftentimes in an air fryer, throw them together. Air fryer is awesome. And he did mention sweet potatoes. That's my favorite carbohydrate for sure to eat, to have. Makes it really easy. Some of my favorite foods are mushrooms. I can eat mushrooms every single day of my life. I like shiitake mushrooms. I like uh, oyster mushrooms. I like portobello mushrooms. I like them all types of ways. I also like grits. I really love grits. I thought she was gonna say I also like magic mushrooms, but she didn't say that. She likes grits. So I put a little bit of vegan cheese and some grits and a little bit of vegan butter and salt. I don't do that sugar. And uh, <laughs> it's a wrap. So yeah, mushrooms are one of my favorite, favorite foods in the world. Day-to-day -day foods, definitely try to eat whole foods as much as possible. I love that there is a replacement food for everything out there. And of course, I love the ve all of the new vegan cheeses that have come out are amazing. All of the veggie burgers and the ice creams and all the treats. But I really do treat those as sometimes foods. So I'm definitely eating salads, leafy greens every day, grains, quinoa beans and brown rice, making stir fries and make tons of soups. My absolute favorite thing to make is soups. And then the other benefit is, of course, these are a lot healthier, is it's really affordable. So I just shop at the regular grocery store. I'm not going to the specialty shops or the health food shops very often. Every now and then I'll go and get something, but I'm just shopping in the regular aisles of the grocery store and eating as much whole foods, plant-based foods as, um, as I can. And that definitely also feels better. I, I notice a difference. And you will notice a difference too. And I'm sure you noticed that a lot of the foods that were named were named by each individual pretty often, because when it does come to the plant-based diet, I mean, it might not appear to have as many options as the meat diet, which is, is somewhat true. However, due to the fact that more companies are, are making more plant-based foods that are in direct, I don't want to say competition, but they are pretty much the equivalent of what that, that meat product would be. I mean, we're having more and more options that are created every single year. So what you also notice, the theme of this video is obviously, you know, people, just people in general, whether they're vegan or not, they all love their junk food. Um, but most importantly, though, just if you look at and just listen to the vibe of the people, people are just, you know, somewhat happier and, and they feel better when they are healthier. That's just kind of how it works. So that's one reason why I really am a serious advocate of the plant based diet, because I do know it'll lift your spirits. It'll improve your overall health. And that's all we really want for each other. So make sure hit the like button, subscribe and we'll see you next time.